Hello and thanks for joining me on this quick tour around Pages. Pages is the powerful mobile landing page tool helping you get more out of an SMS message. With Pages you're able to create micro web pages and add these to an SMS to further drive your conversion. Now let's get started. When I open the Pages app I start here at the overview page. I can get an overview of all my active pages and the pages that are still in draft. Now let's create a new one by clicking the plus button right here. And here I enter the overview of my page. I can give it a name and a page title. Now the page title is visible to the recipient in their browser as well as a favicon which is a small logo. And on the left side I can create sections. A section really is a page within the page if you like. I can create multiple sections within a page project and thus create something of a micro website. Well, let's start building the first section. On the right hand side, I can alter basic settings. I can give the section a name. There we go. And a background color. I can use the color picker, or if I know the color code, I can fill it in right here. There we go. And on the left hand side, I can find a list of available elements I can use to build my page with. By simply dragging and dropping elements in their place, I can create my page. This could be an image, for example. There we go. I can upload an image right here and place a link behind it as well. All right, and I can choose how I would like my image to be positioned on the page. So I think a little bit smaller would be better. And placing it on the left and a little from the top. There it is. Now with all different kind of elements, I can continue to build my page. I could, for example, place a text field here. There's my text field. And within this text field and also in several other elements, I'm able to place merge tags as well to personalize my page even. Obviously I can also edit this to the extent that I'm comfortable with it. By the way, if you'd like to learn more about merge tags and how to use them, please have a look at the video about address book. When I would like to change the order of my element, I simply click one of these arrows and it'll be in the right order. Next, I'd like to add a barcode right there. You can generate a code in the Pages app. Either use a QR code or a barcode. And you could, for example, offer your recipients a voucher in this way, which can be redeemed at a physical location. Could be a link to a website also, for example. There we go. And I'd also like to place a button which I'm going to place down there. Don't like the color. Let's do it like that. And I would like to give my recipients the option to leave feedback. There we go. I will go ahead and finish up this page a little later. What I would like to do right now is show you that this button can lead to another section in my page. Therefore I go back to the overview of my sections and here I can create a new section. 
I can give this a new name. I will design this page a little later. Now if I go back to my first page, I can assign this button to the section feedback I just created. Notice by the way that the Pages app automatically saves your work. For example, if I change this, I will see here that it's saving automatically. You don't have to do this manually. Even when your page is already published and sent, you're still able to adjust your page. And when you do so, this will be done automatically. So even when it's live, keep that in mind. I'm going to finish up the page right now and we'll return to it later. And here we are. This is the finished page for my campaign. I decided it's going to be a loyalty campaign. Uh, I've added another image which holds a link as well. Here in the text I've altered it a little bit, obviously making use of merge tags right here. And I decided that the recipient is either able to use their special code in the web shop or use a QR code to redeem their discount. In this case I'm using merge tags for that to generate the code. If the code is uploaded into address book I can just place it here making sure that the recipient will receive a unique code. The same code is behind the QR code as I'm using the same merge tag right there. Well, as mentioned, the feedback button is linked to the feedback section, which now looks like this. Pretty simple. There are three text input fields right here, which I can pre-fill by using merge tags as well. So the first name already has the first name merge tag in there. Email address, if I know the email address, it will be pre-filled as well. And then this is a open text field and the submit button now is a submit type and that's it the only thing left for me to do is add this page to a SMS campaign and send it out to my recipients I therefore go to the campaigns app via the app menu and I'll start a new campaign by the way, if you'd like to learn more about the campaigns app, please have a look at the campaigns video. I'll quickly set up a new campaign. And I'll edit a address list right there. Now when I'm creating the message body, in the same way I'm using merge tags for, in this case, a first name, for example, I can also add a page by using the page button right here. I can get an overview of the pages I created and add it to my message. And as you can see in the preview right here, I can see a unique link is being created for each recipient to my page. The link below is the opt-out tag, by the way. And if you're sending a marketing campaign, it's wise to add an opt-out tag to your campaign. And that's it. The only thing left for me to do is send the campaign containing my page. And after my campaign is sent, I'm able to review statistics about my page and even still alter the content when necessary. This could be very useful for when you're offering a promotion valid for just a limited amount of time, for example. And now it's up to you. Go ahead and explore pages in combination with campaigns. Happy campaigning.